Good morning. In this session, I would like to talk on cocoon stifling. See, this is the generalized life cycle of the silkworm bombyx mori. Silkworm bombyx mori, just as in case of other lepidopteran insects, has four distinct stages in its life cycle. Number one, egg stage or embryonic stage. Number two, larvae growth phase. Third one is pupae or within the cocoon, pupal transformation will be there. Then adult state, moth or that will emerge from the cocoon and life cycle continues. Cocoons in their fresh condition with the pupae alive in them cannot be stored for a long time as the living pupae are soon transformed into moths which emerge from the cocoons by piercing the shell through one end. Cocoons from which moths have emerged are called as pierced cocoons. They are unfit or useless for reeling raw silk because the continuity of the babe in them is broken. Reeling cocoons therefore have to be subjected to a process of stifling with the object of killing the pupae inside without interfering with the structure of silk shell around it. See this is the definition of stifling. The process of killing the pupae and drying of cocoons is known as the cocoons. Andre, stifling is a purpose andre, just to prevent the emergence of moths. Just to prevent the emergence, moth, emergence of moths because if the cocoons are pierced by the moths by emergence then such cocoons becomes unfit useless for reeling process so that should be that should be reeled within the moth emergence otherwise it should be subjected to the process of stifling see the cocoon stifling includes the following methods number one sun drying sun drying number two steam stifling number three hot air conditioning let us discuss one by one in detail first one sun drying see this sun drying consists in killing and drying the pupae by prolonged exposure of cocoons to scorching hot bright sunlight we can observe these two pictures the freshly harvested the freshly harvested cocoons are exposed to scorching bright hot sun for several days see such sun dried cocoons can be preserved for any length of time without any problem problem means without any emergence or any other attack of fungal uh, and other microorganisms. See the procedure is very simple. The procedure is very simple. Immediately after the harvest of cocoons, they are thinly spread out on mats and kept in the hot sun from sunrise to sunset every day for several days till the pupae are killed and the cocoons completely dried. The cocoons completely dried. See, such sun-dried cocoons are very light in weight and when, when shaken make a rattling sound. When shaken make a rattling sound, this is the indication of complete stifling, complete stifling of cocoons. What are the merits and demerits? See, merits, merits, no cost. It is free of cost. Anyone can have the benefit of sun drying without any cost. But there are some demerits. Number one, no one can regulate this sunlight. You cannot regulate the sunlight intensity during winter season, during cloudy seasons, during rainy seasons. We cannot regulate the sunlight. This is the first drawback demerits of sun drying of cocoons. Number two, as you all know, sunlight, 
has ultraviolet rays this ultraviolet rays damages the silk filament because silk is nothing but the two types of proteins so this ultraviolet light ultraviolet rays damages the filament these are the merits and demerits next one is steam stifling steam stifling see here killing the pupa in the cocoon by exposing the fresh cocoons to the direct action of very hot wet steam for a required duration for a required period see this steam stifling includes basket barrel and chamber basket barrel and chamber steam let us discuss one by one in detail first one basket steam stifling see steam stifling in this method steam stifling is following in small railing establishments which handle very small quantities of cocoons at a time fresh cocoons are stifled in a simple manner about 10 to 15 kgs of fresh cocoons from which all the obviously defective cocoons have been picked out are loosely filled in a basket oven of bamboo or any other suitable material you can observe the basket here in which the sides are closely woven but the bottom is loosely woven so as to allow the steam to pass through easily so the bamboo basket feature is the sides are close and thick and thick and loose because to facilitate the movement of steam from top to bottom and the steam pass through here is specific and special design basket on this a thin wet cloth is then tightly stretched over the top of the basket and tied at the sides leaving the bottom free the basket thus filled with cocoons is placed over the mouth of a vessel in which water is boiled sometimes the reeling basin itself is used for this purpose as in case of indian charkas the hot steam from the vessel below soon fills the basket and stifles the pupae in the cocoon and kills them in about half an hour steaming is stopped when the dense steam starts coming out of the basket through the sides of the basket and emits a smell peculiar to the freshly steamed cocoons when the open palm is slightly placed on the freshly steamed cocoons the cocoon feel hot damp slimy and sticky the cocoons yield even under slight pressure between the fingers because the cocoons will be soft and wet due to steaming cocoons in this condition are reckoned to be properly stifled but in order to make sure that stifling has been effectively done a few cocoons of good build or double cocoons are picked out from the freshly steamed cocoons still in the basket their shells are cut open and pupae placed on the open palm and examined to see if they are killed if the stifling is not thorough they will be still alive and proper promptly react to the exposure of cold air and start wriggling in such an event the steaming is continued for some more time the freshly steamed cocoons are then poured out and thinly spread on mats for airing in the shade for several hours till the cocoons feel dry firm and cool and no longer sticky wet cocoons are not stored as they are easily attacked by fungus freshly steamed cocoons are not suitable for immediate reeling 